Trent, congrats on your win today. Your big win. Yeah, yeah. You had a couple events today, so kind of yeah. take me through both yeah. of them. Um, so yeah, so first event in the mile. Um, I honestly didn't know like what I hadn't had for that. Uh, that was... Sorry, I'm gonna cut you off. Let's okay. explain for the viewers what you've gone through this year. You yeah, only okay. came back like two weeks ago. Yeah. So right? um, yeah, so I sprained my ankle, um, and you know that's you know it was tough, obviously. And initially, I didn't. It, I thought it wasn't as bad as it was. So I tried to get back after about two weeks and it wasn't good. Yeah. So I got an MRI and you know, like there was some more problems. So I had to take about six weeks off wow. total. And so, you know, that was, so I've been back for about two, three weeks. Yeah. And since today, prior to today, I've only done about, uh, about three workouts. And two um, competitions, right? Yeah. And one of them was a dual meet versus Harbor. That yeah. was, that was kind of more of a workout. Okay. Um, so that was just kind of testing the waters, but today, was the first real race I've done since last year. Um, and and going into the mile today, I hadn't run a, like a real mile race since last year. So I didn't know where the fitness was, but I just, you know, I had nothing to lose. So I just went into it and I knew Eli um, from Santa Cruz. He he was looking real good. Yeah. Um, he was running some good times. And I know he's got good speed um, and I just went for it at the end. Uh, and I just didn't have it. No, I got you. Uh, I got yeah. you. But you had yeah. the hunger and drive with for your next event. Yeah, yeah. So in the 800, um, it kind of, I was kind of surprised. It went up uh, quite slow. Yeah. I thought just based on, because I don't have as much um, total volume of fitness, I thought they're going to take it up fast. But they went out slow, and I think that played a little more to my advantage. Um, then I don't think they knew that. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> so it went out about 61, 62, I think, um, which is pretty slow. And then in that last lap, we were really booking it. And then I think, you know, once I was at 200 to go, you know, I knew I had it. I was feeling really good. Um, and I knew, you know, Mason, um, who got second, uh, it was just me and him at the end. Yeah. I knew he was kind of holding up. And so I knew I had it. Yeah, you And I just had that, I had the extra gear at the end and you it felt, felt really good. Sure. Yeah. It looked good. Yeah. You know, yeah. did, um, how much does this go for CCS in terms of what can you carry from this? And I mean, I know there's a ton motivation and confidence wise yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that you could glean from this, but um, is there a whole lot over the course of a week that cardiovascularly, I can't even say, uh, that, that you could, you know? I, I, miss... say, well, I mean, we got more so two weeks because, you know, prelims and finals. Okay, there you go. Um, so I don't think, you know, I wasn't feeling the best today. You know, I had AP exams all week, you know, not yeah. the best sleep. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think I was feeling 100%, just um, my stomach wasn't, just some other things I can't well, control. Okay, okay, I was uh, gonna nerves. Yeah, and I was nervous too because okay. I didn't know what I was. You had to be right. Going. It was like a rookie race for you. Yeah, I, I had no idea yeah. what what I was in for, um, but I was still confident. Um, I knew I could get at least, at least top two in both events. Yeah. Um, but well, that was kind of the goal from the get go, right? Yeah, just to go. On just TCS. to not set the bar too high. Um, but I think you know, two weeks. You know, my coach and I, Gruber, were you know, it's gonna be very critical two weeks um, just to get back into fitness, and I think we can make a lot of progress in that time. Okay. Especially since we've done only three workouts and that's you know that's not very many you know usually up until ccs you would have done 20 workouts maybe well, i didn't know uh, if now's the point where you uh where you drop off for the for the championships in terms um, of or you're just gonna kind of work your way through it kinda, well, and for build. the championships ccs championships yeah but up until prelims we'll probably just kind of go through it because that's what i kind of did today i wasn't really you know like dropping off a ton I'm just trying to I'm get move, the... I'm moving a little bit because right. you have a goalpost behind okay. you. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, prelims shouldn't be too hard to qualify for, um, especially for 800. Um, so you're going to do 8 and 16 or no? I'm sorry. What's, uh... I think we've been thinking about it. Um, okay. I think we might switch to just 8. Okay. Because just based on, I think I've... I think I'm in better fitness for that. Okay. But that's not official. I don't... We're, no, I got I'm you. Just, yeah, we're going to talk oh. about it. Uh but, and I know that 800 at CCS is a lot more open. For a mile at CCS, there are, you know, three guys, 412. Yeah. And I don't think I'll get in the 412 shape by then. Okay. But I definitely think, um, and then 800, it's a lot more open. You know, like Furious Clay from last year, I think he's injured, um, who was the best 800 runner last year. Okay. Justin Pretry, who is the best 800 runner in the section right now, he'll be, I don't know if he's doing 800. Um, he might be coming off the double. So I think I have a good shot at winning 800. What was your... If I do eat just 800. Sorry, I always get that. I'm thinking... Yeah, yeah. If I don't think ahead to the next question. Okay. Uh, 
you could say I rolled my ankle and I'm mad at so and so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or you could say, wow, I made it back, back just in time for the, yeah, yeah. the biggest tournaments of the year. Kind of yeah. what's been your perspective on that? Um, obviously, you know. Like there's a blessing right now. Or no, I'm curious how you're looking at it. Um, I think obviously there's some benefits. You know, obviously rolling the ankle, it was tough um, just mentally dealing with that. Yeah. It was tough seeing a lot of races that I could have been in that I wasn't in. And, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing to do. I can't change what happened. Yeah. So if I keep a good mindset um, going into CCS, I think I can do very well. Um, and on top of that, I've got nothing to lose. They, the other guys in the section, they have no expectations of me. Um, I, I was talking to a lot of the guys at uh, top eight, yeah. just to, they don't, they don't have any expectations of me. <laughs> so I, I've got nothing to lose. And Did I you think, walk up to them? Hey, what do you think of me? <laughs> not, <laughs> Am not, I going to do anything? Not, not exactly, but okay. they, they kind right. of implied it. Yeah. Um, but um, they, you, I think they have, you know, I've got nothing to lose, and that's a really big advantage for me. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, what, weather-wise, this was good to run in? Was it um, today a good day? How, how are you feeling? Are you pretty amped up by getting a medal, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that first the, place. The, you know, I was a little disappointed after the mile, but I knew, like, that's kind of what I expected to happen. Yeah. Because um, I wasn't in that kind of fitness. Um, that's also what my coach thought. Yeah. Um, but especially after the 800 and the 4x4, I felt really good. Um, moving on to CCS for 4x4 is also really fun. Yeah. Because we got a lot of young guys, and it's good. But you may just do only the 8 or would that include the relay? It, yeah, it include the relay. Okay, that's, okay, That's after, so it doesn't matter as okay. much. Um, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm super happy about the last two events, you know. Um, you know, I was a little disappointed after the mile, but, I, you know, after a while I realized, you know, I don't think there was much I could have done. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I did th I think you should feel pretty fortunate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> personally, personally. But yeah. I'm not you. I know how much you love running. Yeah, I, I obviously really wanted to win the mile today, you know, especially after winning it last year. And, um but you know Eli, he he deserved it. He ran a really good race. Um, he he timed everything perfectly. So yeah, yeah he deserved it. His win. kick was disgusting. Yeah, he timed. I think if he if he started decided to wait for the kick with 200 to go, I probably could have taken him. But he kicked with more like 500 to go, yeah. which was way way better for him. Um, well, I wonder part. if he could have done it because he did it right at the start of the bleachers, I think. Uh, yeah. And so I'm uh, wondering if he no, could've... it was a little bit more about you know. Like he oh, really it? picked it up right there, okay. but we were moving on the, the home stretch going into the bell. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, good stuff. Yeah, thank Congrats you. Congrats on the big win. Yeah.